So we collectively uh, from Goa, the football community of Goa have joined hands uh, to take care of the underprivileged uh, to the frontline war uh, warriors, the Goa police, the doctors, the ambulance drivers, the hearse drivers, anyone and everyone. We are just trying to reach out to them uh, so that nobody is left without a beam. Uh, we are catering uh, to uh, areas of South Goa District Hospital, ES Hospital, Ravindra Bhavan, the Margaon Municipal Garden area, the Margaon Railway Station also. Uh, we are trying to reach out most of them so that uh, nobody sleeps uh, uh, hungry basically in these unprecedented times. Uh, the Goa Army, the football dugout and many more such supporter clubs have joined hands together in preparing these meals and reaching out to the people so that nobody should uh, be deprived of the, the daily meals. Uh, so, and we have started this movement uh, since 11th of May as we uh, commit to ourselves to continue this movement until the pandemic actually gets over, at least the lockdown uh, period. So, so far it's been a very good response. A lot of people have come forward uh, to support us in this movement uh, by uh, giving us uh, raw, raw materials and stuff like that. A lot of restaurants have also joined in so that they uh, cook meals for us free of cost. The Goa Youth uh, Association at Bambolim has also joined us hand. The Sikh, the Sikh Youth Association has given us a big hand uh, in helping these. Besides the meals, we also provide, we have, the football committee has also provided oxygen concentrators uh, with the help of TFU. Our fundraisers has also been started. Uh, we are getting a lot of support from the world across. A lot of footballers, a lot of people have actually supported us in this movement. And we hope to continue this uh, till logical and things uh, come to normalcy. Thank you.